So what we'll do is we'll look at the cash dividends and then we'll look at share dividends later. And the entries to these are very similar. Just one is we pay in cash or one is we pay in shares. Okay. Yeah, that's Yeah, way. Yeah, way, that's it. All right. So grab onto your desks. Here we go. We're going in for a big ride. All right. Now, on the 1st of December in 2013, media direct, um, directors of Media General declare a cash dividend of 50 cents per share on 100,000 shares. And it was paid on the 20th of January. So when we declare a dividend, we actually create a liability. Where's my dividends paid out of? Retained earnings. Yeah, retained earnings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in retained <laughs> earnings. And what was it? So it's 50 cents a share, 100,000 shares, that's $50,000. And what I have now is I have a dividend payable, yeah. So I have a liability because I've declared it. And now on the 20th, what I want to do is I want to pay that dividend. So I'm reducing my liability on my payable. And that's for 50000 And where do I reduce it? I also reduce my cash at bank when I pay my dividend. Now it's as easy as that. Should I make that an exam question? Yes. 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 Alright, I'll make that an exam question. Oh, is it the same for Frank and I'm sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entries, yeah, the, the style of uh, the difference between a Frank dividend and an unfrank dividend is we've paid taxed. Yeah. Uh, tax on one and non tax on the other. Alright, now let's have a look. We've got a few more calculations to make in this share dividend. On December, Hawke's Bay Limited has a balance of 300000 in its retained earnings and declares a 10% share dividend on its 50,000 shares. The current market price is $15 per share and the directors have decided to, that this should be the value of the assigned bonus shares. The number of shares to be issued is 5,000 which is basically 10% of my 50,000. So 10% of my 50,000 is 5,000. Mm -hmm. uh, and the total amount to be debited to retained earnings is 75,000, which is my 5,000 shares times my $15 per share. Shares were issued on the 20th of January. So like cash dividend, I've made a dividend declaration. So that means I've got a dividend payable. So once again, we're paying this out of retained earnings. And it's for 75000 And I got now what's called a share dividend payable. For 75000 Now we come to the 20th of January and I want to pay my share dividend. So my share dividend payable is reduced. Yep, that's right. Share capital does increase. You just stole my thunder. I was going to ask, so what is, where are we paying our shares out of? We're paying them out of share capital. So that's right. And our share capital will obviously go from 50,000 shares to include 5,000 more. So we'll have 55,000 shares now. There's a bit where it says, like... Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Ask me, Alex. There's a bit that says... Is that me or is that Where are we looking? There's, that's just the balance in my retained earnings. Okay, so we don't need that. That doesn't matter. Not to this calculation, that 300,000 doesn't matter, yes. I have questions. 30,000. Do we change that? Right, it does say that on that. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm right. I've got the right one. Ha, 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 ha.